In this video, I'll be talking about Emil Smith Rowe as he's come out and done an interview talking about his return to Arsenal. And I'll also be talking about Fowler and Balogun as well as apparently Inter Milan are mainly focusing on him now. And I also touch on a little bit of news about Austin Trusty. So starting off with the news around Emil Smith Rowe and from the Independent, he was talking about Arsenal today. Also himself and he said that I am feeling good and it's good to be back with the boys. Also back on the pitch and with my my teammates the ambition is to get some more minutes this season and really push on last year was really hard for me so i just want to kick on now and prove that i can play for this club it was really tough because i had surgery twice so it was really hard but my family friends and the club helped me a lot to get through it i'm just really happy to be pain free right now and get fit this was my first time having surgery so it was a really hard decision to take but i went for it i'm happy that i don't feel anything there anymore and I'm very happy to be fully fit now. He also said that I have to push myself every day in training, keep working hard. It's tough competition but it's good at the same time and I need to keep working hard and believing in myself. We're very ambitious, we want to win trophies and we're back in the Champions League which is good for the club so really ambitious for us and I want to push on now. There's definitely a lot of confidence going into the new season as we're a young team as well so to get that for our last season was really good for us but of course we want to win trophies so we are going to definitely try and be stronger this year and take it a step further. So Smith though obviously last season barely played any Arsenal minutes as he just came back from his big surgery and there was lots of talk whether Arsenal would be selling him this summer but it turns out they are going to be keeping him for at least this season and it's been very crucial on how he does on this pre-season tour and with the under 21s with England good start because he obviously won the Euros with England and now he's back with Arsenal for the rest of their pre-season tour of America he came on against Man United only for a little bit but I did think he looked quite sharp good little turns here and there good little passes quick touches stuff like that that small sample size so you can't really judge him too much however it was good signs in my opinion and now i think we just need to give him game time i mean i'm really hoping to see him play quite a few minutes against barcelona would like him to start the game to be honest but if not then hopefully get some nice minutes off the bench and hopefully gets a goal or something because this is a big season for him because if it's another one like last season where arteta doesn't really trust him enough to use him then i could easily see him being sold the next season and that's probably the end of him at Arsenal however if Arteta gives him more opportunities and he takes that brilliantly he could easily become a massive member of this current squad his position is a very interesting one because is he a number eight is he a number 10 or is he a winger lots of options there Arteta and the player needs to find a big position for him and see where he's best at but I have a good feeling about Emil Smith Rowe obviously desperate to come with Arsenal on the preseason tour which is always a good sign and I'm looking forward to seeing him get minutes as I said as we really haven't seen a lot of him recently but he's clearly determined he wants to play in the Champions League and he's very aware that there will be competition and he was talking about how hard it was last season due to his injuries but he's saying that he's feeling very good and now he's fully fit so obviously excellent news that he is fully fit and now hopefully won't be getting a lot of injuries because that was one of the main problems with Smith Rowe and if he can stay fit then I have very high hopes for him have to wait and see how he does during the season and the rest of pre-season because you know it will kind of depend on that but I'm very much looking forward to seeing him back in an Arsenal shirt and hopefully we see him in some of the pre upcoming pre-season games but moving on to some other transfer news mainly departure news and Tuto Sport was talking about the Fowler and Balogun situation and they said that Inter Milan have decided to stop its interest in contracting Morata the full focus will be on Balogun whose value is estimated at more than 40 million Inter is preparing to make its first offer to Arsenal, a 5 million loan with a 35 million purchase commitment, also adding to that various bonuses as well. Core Sport kinda backed up the article saying that Balogun's file is now superior to Murata's file for Inter. They are now preparing an offer of 35 million euros, an addition of 40 million euros in add-ons. The player is attracted to move to Inter Milan apparently too.
two. So if Inter Milan have just decided to fully focus on following Balogun and maybe move him away from Malata, then this could be good news for Arsenal if they are willing to cash in. He obviously got zero minutes the other day against Man United, which, you know, some people have said this means he could be on the way. And maybe Inter Milan are getting closer because if they are just fully focusing on Balogun, then, you know, he will be their number one target for that striker position. But their apparent offer is interesting. A 5 million loan with 35 million purchase commitment. I'm very unsure if Arsenal are going to accept that. In fact, I'm pretty confident that they're going to reject that because a 5 million loan, I think they're going to want the money right now. And a 35 million obligation, I think they probably want more than that as well. So I'll have to wait and see if they do submit that offer. But it really doesn't surprise me if they do submit that because these Italian clubs obviously don't have a lot of money. I think they may have got a fee for Brozovic and obviously a good fee for Onana. So maybe they could put some of that money towards Balogun. Have to wait and see, but Balogun clearly open to a move to Inter Milan. And why wouldn't he? A massive, massive club and he would be starting there a lot more than he would at Arsenal it seems. Got news a few days ago that Inter Milan are preparing a bid and as far as we all know that bid hasn't been sent in yet. So all we're waiting for now is when that bid will be sent in and what that build will be and whether Arsenal accept it or not. And finally some news about Austin Trusty that apparently talks between him and Rangers over a move have stalled. That's obviously coming from the Scottish Mail as Trusty has been linked to that league quite a few times I believe. Trusty obviously I'm not sure if he's actually in Arsenal's plans because he has actually been brought on the preseason tour but with the centre back options we have with Timber, Tommy as you can play there, Saliba, Gabriel, Kirior I'm very unsure if Trusty will get any minutes and the likely option is that he will be moved on probably permanently as well as there really is no space for him and whether a move to Rangers is good enough or not because I'm not sure if they could afford a good fee I'm not actually sure how much Arsenal would be looking to get for Trusty but apparently the move has stalled at the moment so nothing is really going on with Trusty at the moment there is interest from the Scottish League and the Championship with Ipswich Town interested too have to wait and see Trusty's move is going a little bit slow as you know we don't know if we're going to keep him or not but even if we do there's been no bids and Arsenal obviously have a lot of squad members at the moment so before we bring anybody in I would imagine some outgoings would have to happen first lots of people have been linked with moves away from Arsenal this summer but today following Balogun and Trusty have had slight updates have to wait and see when these guys move or if these guys move because they could easily stay at the club as well have to wait and see but their futures are still up in the air as but they are still both on the pre-season tour of course but that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below bit of a quiet news day to be honest not really much going on after that loss to Manchester United I don't really expect much news anyway I imagine it'll be more about departures anyhow but what are your thoughts on the Austin Trusty situation would you like to keep him or do you think there's not enough room for him following Balogun a very interesting one because it looks like him or Nketiah will probably be leaving so which one would you like to stay and which one would you rather leave I suppose and Emil Smith Rowe what do you make of his quotes and do you think he will make his way back in this Arsenal team he says he's now fully fit so do you think Arteta needs to trust him more in minutes and preseason and do you hope he gets lots of minutes against Barcelona too but again thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the video I did yesterday gave a little review on the loss to Manchester United and also talked on some of Arteta's quotes about the game but also about Thomas Partey as he wants him to stay so make sure you check those videos out as they should be popped up on the screen right now but make sure you smash a like on this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video